Hello once again, it's your boy That's No Moon, and we are back for the business end of Grand Arena. No more Grand Arena this week? Well, don't worry, we have got our fix for you. I should probably update you with the table, the AAA league in the GA Centre that the guys over from Escape Podcast do that take all the content creators or pretty much most of the ones that you know, uh, put them all in a league or different leagues. And here's how we're doing. We are top of the table. We need two wins in this last round of three to get through this. Um, he's pretty much all offense. So we need two out of three wins here. The pressure is on. This week, or this is the last week in the current season, so it's been four long months, and this is the last one. So, um, yeah, we we need to put on a goddamn show here. So defense has been all right. I've got an okay front line here to get through, as in I think it's pretty manageable, and I don't think I have to like go too heavy. Uh, on it was meant to bring this episode out uh, when was it yesterday but um got stuck down a youtube wormhole didn't i and started watching um yeah started watching uh old like megalithic structures from around the world how they were made and soon got onto the mysteries of the pyramids so yeah i was sort of stuck down a youtube wormhole um and i think with a youtube wormhole you only really realize you're down one when it's like 2 a.m in the morning and you're like how the hell did i get here so you know those ones where you like you kind of log into YouTube to watch something and then suddenly at 2am in the morning you are completely off topic down I guess Alice in Wonderland territory you know but um yeah so uh so yeah very distracted by that oh Daka nearly rush yeah a big one there uh let's see what we can do here get a heal up there we go just to get knocked back down but just to bring him back up again and yeah, this is always a shaky fight, but no Newton here, so I will absolutely take these odds. And yeah, just trying to get rid of health up on Grievous at any particular time. Um, revives whenever possible, which is great. Uh, Droidica, I'm not too worried about. Uh, again, I can dispel that with Asajj if she was ever present, but there we go. Um, yeah, let's bring her back, I think. Get rid there. Oh, we got rid of two there at once, but it didn't, like, trigger a double. So that's interesting. Let's bring them back. Keep adding to that health pool. So, yeah, I was going to say, let me know your favorite YouTube wormhole, um, where you found yourself or what collection of videos you've been watching at 2 a.m. thinking, what the hell, how the hell have I got here? Um I think one of my worst ones was um, I ended up logging on for something. I can't remember what it was, uh, but I ended up at t like two, three in the morning watching dueling banjos. So uh, and remixes of dueling banjos as well. So it just doesn't stop. So with this one, this new team now coming up, I think I'm fairly safe to go in with just the three. Uh, I obviously want to be banner conscious as well i don't feel like taking in another two sith would particularly help me but um but yeah we'll we'll have a go at this anyway uh one print there isn't like a nice choice um but i'm not too worried with nihilus in there uh that's a lot of counter attacks annoyingly but the stuns we are gonna sort of shake off anyway under that trail lead uh, there goes the burning they ain't gonna do a huge amount anyway uh, i guess we can isolate here I think, I can't remember exactly, but I think it stops the counterattacks from Nest anyway. Okay, putting them all under stealth. I'm um, not too bothered about profit, in honesty. Django wasn't particularly scary, and Dooku against this team isn't particularly scary either. So, I mean, it is just the mechanics working in our favour. And you can see here, all these attacks out of turn are all adding up as well. So... Big hit here, should deal some pretty good damage, give us some protection back. Uh, here comes Nest, but really isn't doing anything. And yeah, I mean, it's just a, a, a matter of time here. Big cooldown reductions. Again, a lot of counterattacks, but they are absolutely eating it. Uh, okay, and 
yeah, we, we, we're we in pretty good shape here. So I think probably the issue, the problem child there is going to be Ness. It's going to be held by hatred up. Um, get rid of Dooku. And the whole team is falling apart now. So we will mop this up. But uh, yeah, watching ancient Egypt and like monolithic structures from around the world were more convinced than ever that aliens had a pl- had a had a hand in it. Um, it is amazing, well, regardless of what it is anyway. It is amazing some of those like old structures and sites that like have no connectivity between them, but how they're built and stuff. So yeah, absolutely loved uh, going down that wormhole for quite a bit anyway. But yeah, um, some some amazing like building from thousands of years ago so uh yeah either they were pretty clever or there was definitely an outside sort of interference and part to play but who knows i will let you know my findings or when i've got through the next 20 hours uh because youtube is absolutely recommending everything under the sun to do with the pyramids and (laughs) anything related uh so yeah it could be a while um, fairly nasty teams left, Rebels, Kylo Glenn, um, yeah, it's, I mean, that's a nasty front line. Knights is something I'm not too worried about. Um, this one isn't a speed set, Kylo, so I'm not particularly worried, um, but plenty of offense, so he's going to be hitting hard. So, um, down the back, we've got Mon Mothma, which, again, instantly regret using Trier, but I will, you know, I think that dealt with that team pretty well in the front. And Darth Revan as well. So we've got Darth Revan, we've got Rebels both on defense. So I don't want to burn a Galactic Legend here. Speed set, interesting. Um, But again, not a huge amount of sassy, so definitely have the advantage here. 304, that should be in range. I'm sure that my Vader should be good to go. So... Let's go with this Thrawn lead. Again, uh, what's his name lead? Um, I can't remember. Piet lead is also pretty good with this, but I just prefer the um, the Thrawn lead. I think you can, I think you can probably like time it a little bit better and stall a little bit for time uh, in between Vader's cooldowns and things like that. So yeah, no one else really I want to take in there. There's no better choice, I don't think. And again, this is speed dependent as well. Like, basically, Vader can't be quicker than Darth Revan, and that is the weird thing sometimes. Actually, a slow Darth Revan can cause problems, especially if your opponent is using this counter, um, the Empire counter, to... um, Again, you can't really telegraph it, but... Yeah, nice big hit there. Got rid of Revan. Yeah, you can't really telegraph it. You know, you can't, like, lock in with really slow mods on Darth Revan, but... I mean, I'm going to go rather than speed on Bastila. More to like probably a crit avoidance arrow, drop the speed a little bit and um, and go more health here. Uh, I'll probably throw the Sabre here to get a free turn. Uh, I didn't really want to kill him because now I'm out of Merciless. And yeah, so I think I'll just do that. I kind of don't want to crit there. And I want to turn my focus towards Basti now. Uh, okay, got to be a little bit careful here. Mm. I've got the choice to fracture, or I've got the choice to throw the two meter. I think I need to work Vader here, and yeah, nothing there. And I'll probably throw the yeah, and that's the point that I realised. Oh, I always forget this. I always absolutely forget that when I've got corrupted battle med- med- bleh, corrupted battle meditation on then you can't inflict debuff so big oversight on that one luckily it's probably not going to cost us too bad so it's back over to Vader we've got pretty decent dots on there actually at the moment let's throw that saber nice big hit got rid of her mm, yeah probably get a couple couple of dots on there um not too worried about this coming around right there we go there's the fracture let's just stall a little bit for time here and not a huge amount that i want to do there's protection i've got like one six ten twelve buffs on 
debuffs. Yeah, there we go. Nice big hit. 59, uh, that's a good result against Darth Malik, honestly. So we're doing okay as well. We're doing all right this season. Um, as in like the overall, um, probably in about 800 at the moment. So yeah, this should be interesting. I mean, could not believe that um, that Ray has held for four battles and the fleet's held as well. So I've got to get through. I've got to clear basically. So that means he's going to have um, he's going to have some interesting fleets on there. Okay, so we could be in trouble actually, and this is the whole reason why I keep my meta fleets anyway. So yeah, I think we go with Jedi here, and I think pretty standard lineup. Um, I don't see that really there's a better fit. I think these should be fine anyway. Hermit Yoda, absolute Kylo killer. Uh, just look out for, yeah, the tenacity on Hux. I do need to get around. Uh, that's where that is useful with Jedi Knight Revan as opposed to this one. Uh, I think I definitely put the Master's training out nice and quick. Pull the turn meter back, ability blocks. Get some more buffs on Luke there, I think. Uh, he should be coming up to his stun here. Nice. Let's do that one. Let's actually go over to Hux. We've got Sith Trooper stunned at the moment. Uh, no ability block, so I do have to be a little bit careful. Let's just try and deal with him. I think the AoE is coming up next. So I'll, oh, I can't quite remember, but he, he is now in ultimate territory, which is a little bit scary, actually, because I've still got quite a lot on the board. Okay, there he goes. Eesh. Yeah, probably should have gone for Sith Trooper there. Mm, get rid. Get rid. There we go. Hermit Yoda doing the biz. Uh, big hits here, but we are going to like absolutely eat an ultimate in a second. Uh, only one, though. Only one ultimate that we've got to get through. Ugh, so we could probably get through, uh, get through Stormtrooper here. Uh, probably save that big, uh, the big AOE. Should be actually weirdly coming into ultimate fairly soon. Uh, oh god, they're not in, they're not not looking in good shape at all. Okay, let's let's yeah let's heal him up a little bit. Mm, nice big hit. Get the blind out there. There we go. That's what we wanted. So we wanted to save the um, the blind for that big, and that came around perfectly in terms of timing. Um, I mean, may as well enter ultimate. You very rarely get to see this animation anyway. So, yep, terrible banners, but there we go. Gets the kill shot, 54. Pretty ropey. Probably should have taken in Jedi Knight and Revan there. Uh, but there we go. It is what it is. So next one up, I think, Imperial Troopers, I think bringing them in against Night Sisters is absolutely fine. I think this is absolutely what they were designed for. I've still got those Rebels. And I think Rebels, I, I mean, I've got uh, quite a lot left. I didn't actually use Malek this round, which is, um, yeah, I could have definitely used that on the, the first team, the Newt team. Um, probably should have shoulda woulda coulda done that that definitely was a smarter play hmm so which way do i want to go around this yeah jedi i can go in i can like mark chewbacca first and that usually sorts it out uh, but i don't think there's any reason as to not take this team in I mean, I could probably go testing, but that's about it, really. So, they actually went for the single worst target they could have gone for. So, let's get rid of Chewbacca. Nice big hit there. Uh, I can't really do much here. I don't really want to AoE. I think get rid of Chew Chupio. That big, big AoE is not good. So, let's keep them hidden behind here. Should be able to get rid. Nice. There we go. 57, yeah, I mean, it was just a little bit unlucky there with Hux, but it's good to know that he can withstand a shot. 
Um, okay, actually, do I think that this can solo it? I probably don't need to. Mm, Arc Trooper, not a bad choice because getting rid of the taunt. So I think this is fine. Yeah, I guess the taunt can be a little bit annoying, but it really doesn't matter. I don't really think that this is this is an issue. Let's get rid of Asage. Nice big hits there. Yeah, counters going off. Nice. Um, yeah, there is there is an issue of a stun, especially under a, an Asage lead as well. Um, pushing back to a meter. I very much doubt it, but it is a possibility. There is a there is a finalizer there. I don't know what the other one is though. Okay, so yep, let's take out Mon Mothma with the troopers. Bit of death mark in there as well. The Death Trooper, his basic, so good. Days stun. Yeah, we need to dig. We need to get rid of Malbus. Um, looking more like a Days Malbus at the moment. Okay, let's finish him off. Uh, don't want to do an AOE yet. I think I just want to keep up the pressure there. Stun. I got Death Mark as well. There's that Death Mark. Let's go. Let's go. Days. Nope. Mm, not too much of a problem. Yeah, lots of dodges, but we should be able to tank this. There we go, the 60. Nice and easy. And on to the ships. So we've got here Finalizer, we've got Rebels. So interesting. So what on earth did he use on, on my ships then? I'm not quite sure. So, yeah, I can't remember whether it was this this round. I can't remember at this point whether he had gone in with ships or not. Um, but, yeah, I think this one, just make sure that spy, because I've done this a few times, taken in, like, Geo Soldier instead of spy. Never good. But, yeah, I think Malevolence can be really ropey against Rebels. So here we go, get the mark out there, or the hunted rather, get the stun. Uh, okay, need to go to work on Kylo Ren on Mars, definitely. Get that defense up, get those buzz droids out there. Uh, should be able to maybe finish him off, not quite. There's that stun again. Oh, big hits coming here near here, but doing his job, there we go. Uh, we've got Slave 1 in, and the reason, I've shown this before, the reason I bring in Spy here is because I don't have to deal with the counterattack. so that's kind of pretty nice. Uh, although I'm not quite sure why he didn't get a bonus turn there, or like his turn straight off the bat. Hmm. Maybe it's something to do with, uh, with Hux's ship, I can't quite remember. Two for there, let's get rid, there we go. So it should be decent banners, 65, yeah. That's not bad for Malevolence, you know. Like, Finalizer's a bad fleet to put on defense, in my opinion. Uh, okay, here we go. Not long left now. Let's steer it home. As I said, we just need a win here. We need two wins in this round of three to become crowned the AAA champion. So we just need a solid win. Okay. So Rebels coming in, I do like this lineup. Um, may as well. Yeah, get them, hit them with the big one. Plenty of days, there we go. Yeah, finish them off. Nice work, Rex. And yeah, talking to Rex, I'll probably do some stuff with clones, put them up to Relic 5 as well before the next light side territory battle um, and have a Good, good shot at Cam. Okay, there we go. And I think, like, they're pretty good on the fleets as well. There's, like, clones are good, you know. 
Okay, let's get rid of, yeah, let's let's get rid. Uh, I think actually basic here would suit me better. Nice, I think the crit does it. I don't think a non-crit would have finished him off there. Uh, big hit, oof, ouch, that hurts. But retaliated with another big hit of ourselves. Uh, top everyone else up, should be good to go. That should be all she wrote. Bring in Ahsoka, finish it off. And there we go. And round one, 65, round one, hey, we hit Kyber. So let's have a look where we where we are at the moment. So we are... Mm, Two hundred and six. So that's not too bad. We've got some feats to. Well, we don't have feats, but we've got the kind of bundle to collect up. So thank you all for watching once again. If you've enjoyed, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Uh, we'll catch you over on Discord. Links in the link down below, and I will see you in round two for the next one. Cheers, guys.